Senator, every day, I want to talk about the, the trucker episodes that are going on, not only at the Detroit, the Canada border, but in Ottawa, but also here, uh, dribbling in perhaps to the United States. Every state, every community is now grappling with vaccine and mask mandates, and the CD says it's too early. But truckers are headed to the District of Columbia from the Super Bowl to protest these mandates. And, of course, they have choked off the border between Detroit and Canada, and they have honked their horns and, and taken over virtually Ottawa, Canada. What's your reaction? Well, over 85% of truckers who go across the Canadian border um, both ways are vaccinated. So this is a small minority. And I can't imagine that most Americans are going to want to see the Super Bowl disrupted by truckers who don't want to abide by the rules and get vaccinated. Um, fortunately, we're seeing um, the Omicron variant and COVID numbers decline across the country. So hopefully this won't be an issue much longer. But, you know, the disturbing thing about what's happening in Canada and these demonstrator demonstrations is that um, we're hearing from the trucking associations in Canada that it's not just the truckers, that there are other fringe elements that have joined these efforts to try and disrupt uh, commerce, to be divisive. And I fear that there are um, elements outside the country that are also trying to engage in mm -hmm. these divisions. Mm -hmm. Um, we mentioned the U.S. Senate race a little bit earlier. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the GOP. They are desperate to defeat your colleague, Maggie Hassan. Uh, they're hoping that that's going to be the key to resuming control of the Senate. Are you worried for her, or do you worried about Democrats losing that seat? No, I'm, I'm very confident my colleague, Maggie Hassan, has been working hard both as governor and then as a senator to address the concerns that people the voters in New Hampshire have, whether it's child care or health care or um, addressing costs and how to reduce those. Um, she has been there. She has been working hard. She is doing what she needs to do. And the Republicans have had trouble coming up with somebody. Now they have three candidates in the race against her. And we've heard from um, Donald Trump supporters that they are they are trying to find someone to run against the governor and also to run in her Senate race. So I think the Republican Party is going to be very divided on this race. Do you get a sense that they are going to try to put someone up that is a Donald Trump supporter? Or do you think they're losing interest, at least financially, in this race and shifting their attention to some of the other races, perhaps some of the more open seats? Well, what we've heard from Trump supporters is that um, that Donald Trump has said he wants to see um, his candidate in that race for the Senate. Senator Shaheen, thank you so much for joining us. Thank New, Hampshire, you. New Hampshire Senator Gene Shaheen joining us from Dover, New Hampshire.